a record payout to thousands of survivors of the disastrous Black Saturday bushfires. Money doesn't close it. Money doesn't heal these wounds. It's, it's going to be a, a long, long fight to heal these wounds. Good evening, Guy Stainer with ABC News. Thousands of survivors of the deadliest Black Saturday bushfire have won nearly half a billion dollars in compensation, the largest class action settlement in Australian history. After a 16-month trial, electricity company SP Osnet, one of its contractors and the state government have agreed to the payment. But the terms of the agreement mean no one has admitted liability for the Kilmore East King Lake blaze, which killed 119 people and destroyed more than 1,200 homes. Carol Matthews has spent five years reliving the trauma of Black Saturday and the ferocious bushfire that destroyed her home and claimed the life of her son Sam. Nothing will take away the pain of losing my son and today's settlement won't change what has happened but today there is an element of relief. She's the face of the class action involving more than 5,000 survivors who sued power company SP Osnet and the Victorian government over the deadly Kilmore East Kinglake fire, which was ignited by a failed electricity conductor. After a 16-month trial, a judgment was due next year, but all parties have now agreed to a half-billion-dollar settlement. SP Osnet will bear the majority of the cost, with the remainder to be shared by a power line inspection contractor and the Victorian Government. If approved, the settlement will be the largest in Australian class action history uh, by a considerable margin. The settlement won't be finalised until it's approved by the court, and even then it'll be another 12 to 18 months before each of the 5,000 claimants receive their share of the payment. The return to each claimant will vary and about 12% will go towards lawyers' costs. In a statement, SP Osnet expressed sympathy to those who suffered losses, but stressed the settlement is without admission of liability. The Premier says the state's payment will be covered by insurance. I would certainly hope that this assists the victims. I, I think anybody who lost a loved one in these fires, it's very difficult even when the settlement is uh, reached. For Carol Matthews, a burden has been lifted, but life for her family will never be the same. Francis Bell, ABC News, Melbourne. And there were mixed feelings today among survivors of the Kilmore East King Lake fire. For some, the settlement brought a sense of relief, but for others, it did little to soothe the pain. Come on, this is Tony Laurie's new home, perched high on a hill off Doctors Creek Road. It's on the same spot where he fought and lost the battle to save his old home from the bushfire in 2009. Now they can keep all their money, just give me back my old house and my old home and my old wife, I'll be more than happy. Like many around here, he's still struggling financially and emotionally. And while the settlement offers some relief, there's no closure. Money doesn't close it, money doesn't heal these wounds. It's, it's going to be a, a long, long fight to heal these wounds. Nisha Sinclair lives on the other side of King Lake National Park. She lost her home and very nearly her life. I think it's a time that we're actually able to heal and perhaps close this chapter, although I think everyone that's gone through it, it will remain within us forever. Andrew Derwent agrees the impact will last a lifetime. It doesn't bring any closure, it doesn't undo the event, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't solve anything. He's now rebuilt his home in King Lake. Rebuilding his life is a little harder. But he says the class action trial helped in some small way. To be able to express what happened to you, um, things you witnessed, um, the, the trauma, the stress involved, the, the heartache of, of the whole event. <laughs> I'm getting a bit upset. Um, is part of the is part of the recovery process. Uh, yeah, very strong part. Uh. There are still signs of the devastating fire at every turn in this town, and while locals are divided on their feelings towards the settlement, everyone agrees the money is but one step on their path to recovery. Ashlyn McGee, ABC News, King Lake.